What I'm going to share with you today is all about the importance of the first four weeks as a foundation of success for an optimum breeder performance. The first four weeks can be considered as our investment to establish early plaque uniformity as well as early development of skeletal frame of our birds. So there are four major factors that we need to watch for on the first four weeks. The first one is house preparation. We need to remember that house cleaning and downtime is an integral part of house pre preparation as well. In most cases, the pullet and the breeder house needed to have a downtime of at least seven to eight weeks for cleaning, repair, and disinfection before the next chick placement. The house should be preheated for 24 to 48 hours before placement as well. So this is not just to pre-warm the air and the surface area, but this will also help on penetrating the concrete floor of the house. A minimum acceptable concrete temperature is about 28 degrees and 32 degrees for liter temperature. So we need to make sure that there will be no leak at the brooding area as drop in any part of the house will cause an equal chance for the birds to consume feeds. The minimum ventilation is very critical, especially on the first 24 hours, as this will optimize the house brooding temperature. The second one is achieving the proper frame development at the very start. We need to remember that 55% of the frame development of the birds happen at four weeks of age. Achieving the target of seven day weight is critical and essential for the chicks for proper growth and development. So this can only be achieved by stimulating the early feed intake of the birds, which is very crucial for organ developments such as intestine, liver, and pancreas. This will also important in stimulating the proper absorption of the yolk. In the first 24 hours after placement, a chick needs to consume 20 to 25 percent of its own body weight in feeds. So this equates to about 10 grams of feed in the first 24 hours. The third one is the nutritional balance. Pine crumble feeds would be a very good choice on the first two weeks of age as this will help in stimulating the feed intake. And besides, crumble feeds has an advantage on body weight development because the nutrients are easily be absorbed and digested. The balance on vitamins and minerals on the feeds like calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin D will also help the chicks to develop a stronger bones on the first seven days of their life. And last but not the least is the water intake. At the time of chick arrival, the chicks need to consume one ml of water for every hour. So this means that the chicks should consume 24 ml of water on the first 24 hours after placement and this will equate to 50% of their initial chick weight. Nipple drinkers and water pressures must be adjusted to suit the chick height and requirements. As a general rule, when the birds are drinking, the bird's feet must always be flat on the floor. Remember that without an adequate water intake, the feed consumption will decline and the overall bird performance will be compromised. 